A car with a mass of 1,800 kilograms goes around an 18 meter radius turn at a speed of 35 meters per second. What is the centripetal force on the car? So the first thing we need to remember is an equation for the force. So remember Newton's second law says that the net force is equal to the mass times its acceleration. But in this case, our acceleration for our object that's going around in a circular path is the centripetal acceleration. So our net force is equal to ma centripetal. Now we remember that the equation for the centripetal force is v squared over r. So we now plug this equation into our force equation. We get the form m v squared over r for our centripetal force. So now if we use this equation, we can determine the centripetal force acting on our object. So we have a mass of 1800 kilograms, we have a velocity of 35 meters per second, which we're squaring, and we're dividing by a radius of 18 meters. Now 1800 kilograms divided by 18 meters will give us 100 kilogram over a meter, and then 35 meters per second squared will give you 1,225 meters squared per second squared. We now carry out the multiplication here. Watch all of our units. We see that we'll get 122,500 newtons. Because remember the units for newton are kilogram meter per second squared. So our answer is, triple force is 122,500 newtons.